Welcome back to Workshop Friend and Happy Christmas to all. This video is going out a little late and that's uh, quite simply because of the Christmas celebrations and uh, Workshop has taken second place and quite rightly so. So in this video I'm going to be installing the motor back into my Coach to Student lathe and dealing with a few wiring issues. Well it's been three weeks since I've been able to do anything in the workshop. A couple of videos ago I fitted the pulley on this uh, motor for my Coach to Student lathe. I'd used the motor previously but hadn't properly installed the conduit into the connector box here and that was one of the things that uh, I want to sort out now I'm refitting the motor. So here's the, the conduit underneath the lathe and it's got this, uh, this nut here so I need to make some kind of adapter to fit with that. So I found this fitting and that matches with the nut on the on the conduit and that also is the same as this thread here. Now that looks to me like uh, nominally one inch and it also looks like uh, 16 TPI. So we need a 16 TPI one inch thread on this side as well and what I'm proposing doing is uh, just turning that down and sleeving it and threading the other side. Now I'm sure I can buy these uh, for next to nothing but it's the middle of the holidays, Christmas holidays and I want to use the machine so the easiest thing for me to do is to adapt this. Unfortunately it doesn't run very concentrically but I've tried it in several positions and I can't get it any better than that. I just guess this thread isn't concentric with that one. It doesn't matter. I only need to remove a little bit of material there just to get a good surface to, to glue that onto. Before cutting the thread, uh, preparing this bush, I took another look at the blanking plug uh, in the cover on the motor there and I think that's actually a metric size. That seems to be 25 millimeters and that looks like one and a half millimeter pitch which is quite close to 17 TPI and one inch. So we're going to cut that metric and uh, mount this end in the cover and uh, use the imperial thread for mounting with the conduit. Now while it's nice to have a gearbox on my coach to student lathe, I don't have one on my MyFord, uh, so it's just a question of setting the gear train up on the back here I just follow the chart for a metric one and a half millimeter pitch thread and of course this is an imperial machine so I have to use a 21 tooth wheel up here and that will give me the, the required thread pitch. Just setting this up carefully so I don't have so the gears are meshing nicely it's a bit tight. You know really it doesn't take long it's just uh, 10 minutes to set this up Good. Okay. 
actually we just check that with the with the plug yep that's definitely a one and a half millimeter pitch thread So I'm just eyeballing this and it looks about right to me. So we'll take this out. I know taking it out is going to upset the setting, but I can always pick the thread up again if I need to. We'll try this in the cover. I think we'll take a few more thou off that. I'll set this back up in the lathe and we'll take a few more cuts. Yeah, I've just taken another couple of cuts. Yep, that's fine. Well, I thought I was making uh, excellent progress there, coming to the last stages of this, and I've just taken that down too far. So I'm not going to repeat all this on camera. I'm going to make this again, and this time get a proper fit. Well, it looks like I've got away with that glue joint. All I need to do now is just face that off and put a couple of chamfers on there. Well, to make fitting the motor more easy, because it is quite difficult in the confined space I have, I've measured the length of the wire run uh, relative to the earth wire to each of the three phases, and then pre-trimmed the wires to get the right lengths. So hopefully tomorrow in the light, fitting the motor won't be too difficult. Right, it's time to fit the motor. So I'll take this outside. I have a hatch in the wall, which you'll see, and that's the only way in my limited space that I can 
um, service my course to student life. So I really am glad I made this hatch in the wall. It was a bit debatable at the time as to whether it was going to be useful, but I think this is probably the fifth time, fourth or fifth time that I've used this to access the motor for one reason or another. So that was um, definitely a way for me to uh, better utilize the space I have in my limited workshop area and maybe that's something that uh, someone else might consider if they have similar layout to me. Thing, one thing I've got to be careful of here is um, I've got Delron spacers underneath the motor um, that was to level the motor um, on the base plate here because something wasn't quite level and I didn't want to just tighten it up and uh, break the feet on this this new motor so that's why I made those spacers yes yeah, so with those Delron spacers um, when I first installed the motor I uh, was expecting the motor to uh, stay on this slight incline here uh, but it didn't and it fell back so um, now I'm a bit more careful. Here's one of the Delron spaces. This bolt I'm going to have to do from the other side. Tighten up the remaining bolts. Okay, I'm going to have to do that from the other side. Now if I've got this right, these wire lengths should all be just right for connecting up. We'll see. You may have noticed that I marked the three phases before I removed the motor. But I just want to double check that I've got forward and reverse correct. So that should be forward. Good. Okay, now I've got to just put the cover on and get the belt tension correct. Okay, I have removed the power supply before doing this. So originally the motor came with the cover the other way around but I removed this so that the slope was towards the rear for better access for wiring as you can see.
Now, incidentally, that rumbly here there is nothing to do with the motor. It's the bearings on the clutch, and that's been a problem for some time. So that's another job, but not for today. It's finally back together again, ready to use, and I shall be hopefully putting out some projects soon uh, using the Colchester student lathe. I shall be returning to my usual routine of 6 a.m. UTC every other Saturday, so I do hope you'll join me for the next video. Finally, Happy New Year to everyone.